Gentlemen, put your hands together for Tokozo Mambo. Glory to God. When it comes to the bounties of your love towards us, we have come with worship from every nation. We stand before you. Lord, we love and serve you this hour with our songs of our hearts. Angels, join us as we worship him. Oh, yes, I can hear their voices. They come with us and we come before the throne. This is our pledge. Asu Sida. Modu na wudu e ye ye nya me na yo e asu zida modu bena e me ye me nya me na yo I will sing it again asu zida modu it doesn't matter what happens it doesn't matter what I'm going through damn me yimi nya mina 
be to God. Mm -hmm. You are great, yes, you, you are. are. Holy one, my God. Walk upon, Walk upon the sea, raise the dead. You reign in majesty, mighty God. Yes, Lord. Everything, Everything written about you. Is great. You are great, yes, you are. Holy one. Walk upon the sea, raise the dead. You reign in majesty, mighty God. Everything written about you. about the king of kings is great yes lord morning we bless the Lord together we glorify the King of Kings worship the most high God everything written about you is great worship you today yes Lord give you all the praise as we lift our hands to you Everything we 
written about you is great. the name of the living God. I thank God for your life. Somebody lift the voice of the living God. Lift your voice and praise God. Everything written about you is great. You are great. You are great. So yes, Lord. Mm. We worship. We worship you, Lord. King of kings. Yes, Lord. Father, we give you praise. We worship the Lord. We magnify the Lord. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. We lift our voice. Somebody just lift your voice and begin to thank the Lord. Lift your voice and begin to worship the Lord. Honor the Lord this morning. Glory be to his holy name. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Abba, Father, we bless your holy name, O Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Very good morning to every one of you. I thank God for your life. I bless the Lord for your life this morning. The Lord has ushered us into a new day, a brand new day, a day that somebody you are going to benefit. Or oh, somebody say, it is a day that I'm going to benefit. Somebody make it your first declaration and say, this is the day that I'm going to benefit. This is the day that we are going to benefit. This is the day that we are going to receive what God has for us this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I thank God for every one of you, wherever you are, as you are listening to me, I am thanking God for your life. Bless the Lord for your life in the mighty name of Jesus the Lord has done it again ushered us onto the 24th of July 2020 somebody it is a Friday and we thank God we bless the Lord that we are found among the living counted among the living in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth or oh, somebody if you have nothing at all to say lift your voice and say thank you Lord somebody lift your voice and say thank you Lord Father I appreciate the gift of life I appreciate that me and you we are awake this morning in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Can you lift your voice and worship the Lord for one minute? Lift your voice and magnify the name of the living God. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Glorify the Lord. And say, Lord my God, I am grateful this morning, O God. I am grateful, O Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Glory be to his holy name. Glory be to his majestic name. This morning we are guarded again, once again at the feet of Jesus, that we will be blessed, we will be empowered in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I thank God for your life. I bless the Lord for your life. It is a very good morning to you wherever you are. We thank God for your life. Maybe you are in a country that is an afternoon, it's a good afternoon. You are even getting on your bed to go and sleep, but don't sleep yet. I say 
say good evening to you. Join us. Let us do this for the glory of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I greet you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit that has brought you and I thus far in Jesus' mighty name. Glory be to his name. If somebody you are there, it is time for me to acknowledge you. But I believe that have you acknowledged God first? If you have not acknowledged God by lifting your voice and say thank you, Lord, and somebody lifting your voice and say, Father, you are my God. You are my God. Somebody do it now before I acknowledge you. Acknowledge the almost high God, the one in whom we have gathered before his feet. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us show respect unto the Lord this morning and acknowledge the Lord. Acknowledge the Lord and say, Lord, I am grateful, O Lord my God. In fact, this is the day that we will benefit. It is the day that we will benefit in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We bless the Lord. We magnify the Lord. Once again, good morning to you. Now, let me go to Facebook and acknowledge every one of you there. And for those that are listening from any of our platforms, I thank God for your life in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you. The Lord empower you. The Lord sustain you in Jesus' mighty name. Glory be to the name of the living God. We thank God who has seen us through another beautiful day. Before I acknowledge every one of you on Facebook, before I do that, please take give me a moment. We have Mommy Becky one on the line, a mother that will come every morning and come and give thanks for your life and my life and for the success of this program. She is in our midst this morning. And so I will allow her to give thanks unto the Lord. We thank God for such a great person in our midst. We thank God in Jesus' mighty name. All she's saying is Amen. that he's thanking God for Amen. your life and for my life. You may not understand the story. Uh, the words that she's saying it because it's in tree but what she's saying is that uh, she's thanking God for your life and for my life and for all of us uh, and for the success of this program we thank God for every one of you God bless you God bless you good morning mommy Becky one good morning good morning good morning good morning mm. but you want to say I'm here to say I'm here to say I'm here to say I'm here to say yes lord 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 I'm here to say yes Yes, Oh, yeah, to focus on three map and pen for me. Yes, Lord. Let me let you be on the son. Debbie, I think that's true for no. On your own, when you look at your look at the can, but then I say, Yes, Lord. Bamboo, they are boy. No, I boy him and also never share with me. But then I say, Amen. But then I say, No, I'll be never share with me. I'm not paying you. Now, with your two young fish, Amen. Because I'm not paying. Amen. 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 Somebody release your amen right now. We thank God. We bless the Lord for Mommy Becky Wana. I thank God for every one of us, for your life, my life, and for the program of God to carry on going. We thank God for her life as well. In the name of Jesus. Mommy, you know, I say, Yami Shrao, Erade, Emma, Quatente, Maya, Ewo, Yesu, Christo, Nazareth, Dinimo. Amen and amen. 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 We thank God. We bless the Lord. Now it's your time for me to acknowledge you. We thank God. Now let me go quickly there. We have Kenechi Odo with us. He says that uh, good morning, mommy, and everyone here. We good morning to you, son. May the Lord bless you, empower you in Jesus' mighty name. Nana Equia Edubi mm. is with us. We thank God for your life, Edubi. We thank God. May the Lord bless you, empower you, sustain you in Jesus' name. She's saying good morning, mommy, and to you all, lovely family amen. of refreshing glory. Amen and amen. amen. We have Victoria Dixon. Vicky, how are you? We say thank Jesus for such a wonderful day. And she said good morning, Rev. Good morning to you, uh, Victoria. Victoria Dixon, I thank God for your life. Angela is also awake up and say, good morning, Holy Spirit. Thank you for another wonderful day in your presence. Be glorified as we worship you this morning. Amen and amen. We thank God for your life. Angie, how are you doing? I bless the Lord for your life. Godwin Odara, I say, good morning, Mama. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And he says, glory be to God. And say, God, you are good all the time. Amen and amen. Angela is also saying, good morning to you, Mommy, and good morning to us all. 
We thank God for your life. Uh, every one of us, we also say good morning to you, Angela. Master Ben Dodu is also with us. He say glory to God for another beautiful day. Good morning, everyone. Good morning to you. Uh, Nanekria says glory be to the Most High God. We have Vanya Skelton with us. He says good morning, ma. Good morning, refreshing glory family. Good morning to you, Vanya. How are you doing? We thank God for your life. Mama Ernestina Amwa is also with us this morning. And she say good morning, precious mommy. Glory be to God for divine selection. Oh, Abby, we thank God. Oh, we thank God. We are grateful for this selection that has come upon us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Mama Ernestina, I say good morning, precious royal. is calling you a royal because that is who you are. We thank God for your life in Jesus' name. Angela, say yes, Lord, you are great. Vanya, say glory be to the almighty Father in heaven for granting me another beautiful day. Thank you, Jesus. We have Master of Mark upon with us. Master Mark, how are you doing? I bless the Lord for your life. He said, glory be to God. Amen and amen. We have Angela say everything written about you is great. Uh, Vanya say hallelujah, mighty father. Uh, glory, glory, hallelujah from Angela. Good morning, Reverend Doreen is from Shana Lava. And he say, Lord, you are great and your mercy and yours forever. Thank you this morning to the... Uh, for the gift of life. Shana, how are you doing? I thank God for your life as well. In Jesus' mighty name, Angela has given us the data, which is 24th uh, of July, 2020. He said, thank you, Lord, for uncountable blessings. Amen and amen. Master Max said, we bless your holy name. Amen and amen. And this is the day we are going to be, be going to benefit. Uh, that is from Mama Ernestina. Oh, yes, uh, I am going to benefit in today. In Jesus' mighty name. Mama Ernestina, I must say, I am grateful for today. Glory be to God. And we have uh, Kwame Sefak upon. He say powerful, powerful, powerful. Kwame, how are you doing? We thank God for your life. We welcome you to Refreshing Family. The Lord bless you. We have Grace also with us. Grace, how are you doing? Uh, he say glory, glory, glory be to the living God. And uh, this is the day I and my family will benefit. Say thank for the gift of life. We bless your holy name, Lord. Strengthen my spiritual mother all the time. Amen and amen. I receive that prayer amen. in Jesus' name. We have Jody also with us. He say, you are my God. Angela say, Father, you are my God. We have Mama Nestina say, you are my God. I am so grateful. Amen and amen. Obaya Siedu is also amen. awake up and say, thank you, Father. I bless your holy name this morning. Glory be to God. Just fin, how are you doing? He say, good morning, Rev. And Everyone, good morning to you. We bless the Lord. We magnify the Lord this morning. I believe that somebody you are ready in the name of Jesus. Belinda Bokete Kweku, how are you doing, Belinda? We thank God for your life. We bless the Lord for your life. The hour has come for us, every one of us, to lift our voice and begin to praise the Lord. Lift our voice and begin to magnify the name of the living God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. This is the hour we are going to thank God together. Bless the Lord together in the name of Jesus. A sister may not be here. Brother may not be here. It is your time and it's my time. Let us invite our sister. Call upon them. Invite them. Click and share. Share to as many as you can before we begin the Thanksgiving and go into the word today in Jesus' mighty name. Or by yes, here they say good morning, Rev Mami D, and good morning, all of you. Good morning to you as well. We thank God. We bless the Lord. Somebody click and share two minutes to do this. Two minutes to do this. Whilst I release the song, two minutes to share. Every one of you. Yes, click and share. Click and share. Invite a brother, invite a sister. Star. Let us do it together to the glory of God. The hour has come. The hour has come. The moment is now. Invite a sister. Share to as many as you can. In Jesus' name. Adwa Duma. How are you doing? Amen. Say good morning, Rev. Adwa. God bless you. Adwa, the Lord favor you. In Jesus' mighty name. Adwa, how are you doing this morning? Let me know how you are doing. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Mandoro Boshandarada. Zede Matundara Badidi Bazaya. Mighty man of war, my God. Ye la brusanda raba de leba, le matunda la banda. And worship you. Yes, Lord. Somebody click and share. Invite a brother, a sister. Invite a cousin and auntie. Invite everyone on the line this morning. Let us do it together to the glory of God. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. Mighty man of war. Lion of Judah. We worship you. Rebecca Owusu. Rebecca number two. God bless you. God bless you. I see you online. God bless you. Somebody click and share. Click and share. Let us do it. Let us do it together. 
Lebran Toro Bozibidi Bidia. Yes, Lord. Ale. O Samari Manto Nayamada, Zibidi Yapoanda. Mapoa Mapaya Bakumpe. Sidi Bato, Zabaya Made Lebradu, Zabaya Mada. Yes, Lord. Father, we thank you. Mighty man of war. Oh, our great father. The excellent God. The God of Gilead. Grace, God bless you for sharing to 18 people. God bless you. The Lord favor you. The Lord and last your coast. Yay. Yahweh. Lift your voice and praise the Lord. Magnify the Lord, glorify the King of Kings in Jesus' mighty name. I believe that every one of you have shared. I pray over every hand that has shared, everyone that has invited somebody. May the Almighty God bless the hands in the name of Jesus for a miraculous outturn in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Anyone that Amen. have contributed to the work of God today, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord release His favor upon you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We thank God. We bless the Lord. We glorify the Lord. We have Mama uh, 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 Winifred Amwako with us. We bless the Lord for your life in Jesus' mighty name. Let us quickly go into the thanksgiving and then I'll go straight into the word of God. And you know as it is, we'll come back to pray. Glory be to the name of the living God. We thank God. Ezra. Ezra 3 verse 11. Ezra 3 verse 11. Ezra 3 verse 11. Ezra 3 verse 11. Extra 3 verse 11. If somebody can put it there on there, put it there and let us read through. Ezra 3 verse 11. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We bless the Lord. We magnify the Lord. We glorify the Lord. Ezra 3 verse 11. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. Thank you, Abba Father. Mando Zibidiata. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Ezra 3 verse the number 11. I read. Thank you, Angela. It said, with praise and thanksgiving, they sang to the Lord. We praise and thanksgiving, the song was directed unto the Lord. He is good. His love towards Israel endures forever. His love towards refreshing glory endures forever. His love towards you and I endures forever. His love towards your family endures forever. His love towards his people endures forever. And he said, and all the people give a great shout of praise to the Lord because the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid in the name of Jesus. The foundation of the house of the Lord is thanksgiving. And this morning you are going to lift your voice. I'm lifting my voice. Somebody we are up appreciating God together in the name of Jesus. He said the people gave a great shout of praise unto the Lord. So you and I are going to lift our voice right now and we are giving a shout of praise unto the Lord and we are thanking God for our existence. We are thanking God for refreshing glory family. We are thanking God for your personal family. You are thanking God for your loved ones, your friends, everything that God has given to you. Somebody, I want you to lift your voice right now and begin to offer thanks unto the Lord. We've got two minutes to do this so that we can enter into the 
word now. But let us lift our voice. Let us lift our voice. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name, O God. We magnify your name. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord. Father, Madoria Shada Badere Mapoto Narabada. Nedi Masua Tarababoa Madoria Bapoa. Endele somebody lift your voice and praise the Lord. Somebody lift your voice and worship the Lord. Lift your voice and praise the Lord. Lift your voice and say, Lord, we are grateful, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, it's the hour for you to appreciate God. Remember what the Lord has done for you. Oh, somebody remember yesterday. Remember the people that have lost their life. Oh, remember how God has protected you, you and your family. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, lift your voice and praise God. Lift your voice and magnify the Lord. Makatoria Shanda Rababa. Lema Tuna Rama Derebraba. In the Lema Boka Tulia Saba Lebraba. In the Lema Ma Dabaraba Zibo Lobron Kataya Baba. In the Lema Kotoria Somebody lift your voice and praise the King of Kings. Lift your voice and magnify the Lord. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Our God is good. Our God is mighty. Yes, Lord, my God. Yes, Lord, my God. Oh, Lord, my God. Yes, Lord, my God, Yes, Lord, my God, Father, we thank you, Papa, we bless your name, O Lord. In the Rabba Katuria Mazoro Boca Boa, in the Rabba da Rabba Capoa Madaraba, in the Rabba Capoa Madere Rabba, in the Rabba Capoa Madora Bacapoa Madoraba, the Sede Masua Catunaya Abatele Mada, in the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, my God. This morning we thank you, we bless your name, O Lord. Glorify your holy name, O Lord. Father, your majestic name, O Lord, my God, who is like unto you, O God. Among the gods there is no one. Oh, somebody, are you praising? Praise God for your family. Praise God for your loved ones. In the name of Jesus, man, do not push in the name of God. In the name of God, do not suffer the bad day. Do not go bad day. In the name of God, do not go sick. Do not go bad day. In the name of God, do not go bad day. Do not go bad day. In the name of God, do not go sick. Do not go bad day. In the name of Jesus, O Lord, my God. We thank you, Lord. We bless your holy name, O Lord. And do not go sick. Be the answer, my dear. In the Lema Poturia Masubini Mapoa Mata, Ekatura Matele Brapo, Katuria Mapata Brapa, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Almighty God, we thank you this morning. We bless your holy name, O Lord, my God. We thank you for all that you have done and all that you are about to do, O Lord. Glory be to your holy name, O Lord, my God, your majestic name, O Lord, my God. Father, you reign supreme. Majestic is your name, O Lord, my God. We thank you, Lord, my God, this morning for favor. We thank you, Lord, this morning for strength. We thank you this morning, O Lord, my God, for the ability for us to be counted among the living in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
Father, we thank you, Father, that you have gathered us together in the place of blessing. Oh, Father, that this morning we will benefit from today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, O oh Lord. This morning we lift your voice on high. We lift your word on high, O oh Lord, my God, that you will speak to us in a way that we will understand. Father, speak to our individual mind, our spirit, our soul, our body. Father, transform our lives by your word, O oh God. Let the entrance of your word come with understanding and clarity, O oh Lord, my God. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, my God. In simplicity, Father, declare unto us, O oh Lord, my God, that we may gain understanding today. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, O oh Lord. Father, lead us, O oh Lord, my God, in dimensions, O oh Lord. Unknown to us, O oh Lord, my God, but make it known to us. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let revelation Amen. abound, O oh Lord. Revelation abound, O oh Lord. Pertaining to our needs, O oh Lord, speak to us. We thank you, Lord. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Somebody say amen. 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 amen and amen. amen. Glory be to the name of the living God, the God that has brought you and I this far, the Lord that has woke you up, the Lord that is about to bless you and position you for a miracle in Jesus' mighty name. As I always and normally amen. say that uh, every amen. day carries its own blessing. Hear me. Every day that you enter into has got its own blessing. Uh, and today God is releasing upon us the blessing of the day. And somebody receive your portion right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, declare I receive my blessing of today. Somebody declare I receive my blessing of today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, somebody receive it now and say I receive the blessing of today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, somebody your blessing of today is joy. Somebody your blessing of today is peace. Your, somebody your blessing of today is strength. Oh, somebody it is financial breakthrough. Oh, somebody receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. Such as you need. Such as we need. In the name of Jesus, the Lord release unto us today. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, such as I need as your servant, O Lord, in the name of Jesus, may you declare, may you release, O Lord, my God, unto us. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, O now today we pray that none of us will toil in vain. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray in the name of Jesus as we proceed into today. Everything that you put your hands to, everything that you touch will become a blessing. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, may the Lord grant you the know-how. May the Lord grant you the skills and the ability mm -hmm. to attain wealth in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. 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 We thank God. We bless the Lord. I am happy and excited anytime the word of God is coming through because the, uh, the word of God is my gain. Oh, somebody said the word of God is my gain. Say to yourself and say the word of God is your gain. We gain from the word of God. So I am happy every moment that I hear the voice of the Lord because I always gain from the word of God. I don't know about you, but I do gain. But I believe that somebody on the line, somebody here today, you are going to gain through the word of God. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen, amen and amen. The Lord is bringing awareness unto his people. The hour has come for the, cho the servant, uh, the Lord Almighty, to call his people, his servants, his children, uh, unto a place of recognition uh, that there are things that he wants us to know. There are things that we want. he wants us to abide by. There are things that he wants us to live our life by. And therefore, the Lord has given us uh, somebody that we can use as a case study, somebody that we can follow their life, imitate their life, and we thank God for the teaching of uh, the life of Job. We thank God. Uh, the principle of the life of Job. We thank God. Uh, today we are coming to the fourth one, which is the final one. Uh, and somebody, I want you to open up your ears, your spirit, uh, and listen to what God has to tell us today in the name of Jesus, so that you shall abide by it. Uh, we thank you, spirit of the living God. Uh, the Lord has brought us this far. I want you to know that we have come to the, the fourth point, which um, is going to be explain to us and every one of us uh, we shall go, we are going to learn in Jesus mighty name. The first point uh, of the principle of Job's life is God fearing is God fearing and the second point uh, is uh, Job was a prayerful person, uh, a prayerful man he was uh, and the third one is that he was a man of integrity he was a man of integrity, it doesn't matter the pain that he goes through, it doesn't matter what surround him, he hold on to the word of God, uh, he hold on to his moral standard which is the word of God uh, and the fourth one that we are going to talk about 
about today is that Job was a man of understanding. He was a man of understanding. So the fourth point uh, is what? Understanding. Understanding. Uh, oh, this morning I want you to know that the Lord is going to open somebody's mind uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, oh, somebody, are you mm -hmm. hearing me? I said this morning mm -hmm. the Lord is going to open up your mind uh, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen and amen. We thank God this morning uh, that understanding is very vital in our work, our day-to-day -day work. But now, none of us, most of us, we don't place value upon it. But I want you to know that there is nothing more important to get than understanding. Get it? There is nothing important to get than understanding. It is so free. It is so free, but yet we fail to get it. Yet we fail to pursue it. This morning when the Lord says understanding, I will begin to talk to the Lord. And I say, ah, Job was a man of understanding. I said, but understanding is from you. So how then? I began to ask God questions uh, about understanding. Uh, because I wanted to understand the understanding that God was talking about. Uh, and this morning I want you to know that sometimes we use our energy for wrong things. Uh, we pursue things that we are not supposed to pursue. Things that we run after. Things that we are not supposed to uh, pursue. There are things that sometimes uh, we don't need but we pursue it. Uh, or we come to a point that we are buying this, we are buying that, we are getting this, we are getting that, but we fail to get the most important thing in our life, which is understanding. We fail to get understanding. Uh, have you seen a homeless person? Have you seen a homeless a person who is homeless, uh, but will go around picking stuff? He will go around picking stuff, getting things uh, that he does not need, that he does not even have a room to put that thing in. But yet the homeless person uh, will go around picking some boxes, picking certain things, uh, things that they don't need. Uh, and sometimes they even push it around. They have a trolley. They are pushing it all around. Uh, sometimes they hold, They have a bag, a huge bag at the back. Uh, and you wonder what is in there. This is the life of humanity. We get things that we don't need. We, we, are, we are so much getters. We get things. Uh, but the things that we get are not necessary. But today God is going to bring us to a place that uh, there is one vital thing that you need that you must get. There is something that we all need that we must get. Uh, and somebody today may you get under understanding uh, in the name of Amen. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, I pray for you and I pray for myself this morning uh, that as the word of God is coming, may we get understanding uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, one of the profound statements that the Almighty God made to me in my hearing is that the greatest thing to pick in the presence of God, get it, as the Lord was talking to me one day, and was saying to me, daughter, he said, the greater things to the greater thing to pick in the presence of God is understanding. It's understanding. If you don't have understanding, all the things that we do becomes useless, brutal. We don't gain much from that which we don't understand. And therefore, the Lord word command that we get understanding. For Job to come to the place of success in his life, he was a man of understanding. Hear it. I say for Job to inherit all these blessings and live his life as a blameless person. Person, as a righteous person, as a man with who is upright and shown evil, he had understanding of some things. He understood certain things. But what about you and I? Today, the children of God, we do things without understanding. Or somebody read the Bible without understanding. You flock to the church without understanding. You pray without understanding. You sing without understanding because everybody is singing. Probably there is somebody here who does not even know why you are here. You come because people are here. You came because somebody invited you. But you you don't see the essence of you being here. But I want you to know that the Lord Almighty today is talking to you and is talking to me. That we get, we get what? Understanding. You need understanding. Look at yourself and say, I need understanding. Oh, I need, I need understanding. understanding. I need understanding. And I want to make this profound statement that understanding has no limit. Get it? Understanding has no limit. So you cannot say today that I have understood and that is all. Understanding has no limit. As you have understood something today, there is the need for you to understand other areas in your life. And I want somebody to write that statement there. The understanding has no limit. So you don't pause. You don't pause me probably because you understand that one plus one is two today. So you, you stay there, you remain there. You build a canopy and then that is where you are. You don't want to advance because your understanding today is that one plus one is two. And therefore you stay there. But you don't know you're going to get uh, or have, uh, 10 plus 10. What is it? Uh, how do I get the understanding of that? Uh, so uh, of that, I want you to know that understanding has no limit. Somebody hear me. So you cannot limit yourself as a child of God, as a servant of God in understanding. 
understanding. You must come to a point that you will acquire understanding. Oh, is somebody getting me? Is somebody understanding me this morning? Uh, that this morning it is vital, it is essential that you and I will get understanding. Understanding is like the breath you breathe, uh, and therefore it is must be important to us. Uh, just as you will go to the market uh, and then buy food stuff, uh, so you must also think of understanding. Uh, because if you don't have understanding, my sister, my brother, there are certain things that you will not benefit from it. Uh, there are certain things that you will be calling, whooping, and jumping. Uh, there are, these, these days, Christianity seems like it is not beneficial. I say it seems like it's not beneficial because we are operating from the angle of no understanding. Children of God are operating in the angle of no understanding. Servants of God are operating with no understanding. Uh, as far as somebody knows that they said you are called, you jump into the fold uh, and begin to do what you like. Uh, and you make a mess of me, people's life. Uh, make a mess of people's marriages. Uh, make a mess of people's uh, doing. Uh, because you have no understanding. Uh, but I want you to know that today, understanding has no limit. That you and I must gain understanding. We must gain understanding. Uh, and today, who is ready to get understanding? I am ready. I am ready. I need it. Uh, and may the Lord endow me with understanding. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, oh, therefore, where does understanding come from? Uh, if we need to get understanding... Just like uh, if I want to buy certain things, I know which shop I will have to go. Or if some of you, you know that when you want to buy that, you want to buy the branded clothing, so you know where to go and get it. Uh. So when we are looking for understanding, where do we go? Where do we go to get understanding? Uh? Because I want you to know that there, there is two types of understanding. Somebody write it there. Oh, somebody write it there. There is two types of understanding. Uh, and the understanding that we are talking about today, we are going to differentiate it for you to understand uh, that we are not talking about human understanding here. So Bible has already told us that uh, we should not lean on our, our own understanding. So if therefore I am not supposed to operate in my own understanding, uh, therefore it means that there is another form of understanding uh, that I must operate in. Somebody, are you getting that? Uh, the Bible tells us in Proverbs 3, in was said that lay not on your own understanding but in all your ways acknowledge the Lord. So therefore where does the other understanding come from? The other understanding by the scripture that I just quoted comes from the Lord. So somebody you must know that understanding can only the two types of understanding is the human understanding and the divine understanding. Human understanding and divine understanding. The human understanding is come from the, our limited mind. And when we our limited mind because the mind of you and I is limited. But I have said that understanding has no limit. Therefore, wh what am I talking about? If my understanding has got a limit and that the, the understanding has not got any limit, uh, then which understanding do I need? That it means that you need a divine understanding. I need the divine understanding as well. Is somebody getting me this morning? Uh, uh, it is Proverbs 3.5. Those that want to write the scripture there, it's Proverbs 3.5. Uh, if you want to put the scripture there, it's Proverbs 3.5. Uh, it's, uh, it, it said that we should what? Not limit on our own understanding, but in on all our ways we should acknowledge God. It therefore tells us that there is another understanding that supersedes uh, the human understanding, which is the divine understanding, which is what you need, uh, and that which I need, uh, that which we need to make it, that which we need to succeed. Uh, you want to live a successful life, you need divine understanding. Uh, or you want to make it in your marriage, uh, you need divine understanding. Uh, or you want to give uh, get a place that uh, people will acknowledge you, sister, you need advice understanding her. You want to become a blameless woman or a blameless man as the Bible said Job was her. You need understanding her. You must operate from the angle of understanding her. Without you understanding you make up a water. You make a mess. Without understanding, there is also a mess. There is always a mess. Uh, or oh, somebody write that. I say, without understanding, there is a mess. Uh, or oh, let us talk about uh, uh, somebody that has been given something. Uh, uh, the Bible even tells us uh, a, a different thing. We, we'll, get to, <clears throat> we'll get into it uh, uh, step by step. I want you to come to a point that if you don't have understanding, you, me you mess up. You will mess up in life so much that if you don't you don't get understanding, you will mess up. There are people that are married and they are married, but they are messing up. Why? Because they have no understanding of the married vows and the married covenant and the marriage that they are in. So they are messing up big time. There is a manager that has been put in the workplace uh, and the manager is messing up. Uh, there is a child of God who has grace upon their head, uh, but they are messing up. Uh, there is an anointed servant of God somewhere. So anointed 
anointed and endowed, but the person is messing up. Why? It's because of lack of understanding. When you lack understanding, you mess up. When you lack understanding, you, uh, you become stagnated. You begin to do things that will not profit you. But today we are in the place that God wants his children to profit. He wants you and I to come to a place that we shall receive the full benefit of the Lord. And that is why you and I, we need understanding. Somebody say it again, I need understanding. Or declare it again and say, I need understanding. I need understanding. Declare it and say, I need understanding. In the I name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now that you know that without understanding, uh, you create a mess or you make a mess of your life, uh, then it is vital. Who wants to live in a mess? I don't think the person is here. I don't think there is anybody here that will, will purposely say that I want my life to be a mess. But sometimes uh, our actions and everything puts us in a mess because uh, we lack understanding. And so today, if we don't want to make a mess of our life, what do we seek for? We seek for what? Understanding. And let us go into the scripture right now. I want uh, Shana, if you are there, uh, help me. May the Lord bless you this morning in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. amen. Uh, Proverbs 4, amen. verse the number 7. Proverbs 4, 7. Proverbs 4, verse 7. Proverbs 4, verse 7. Somebody get yourself ready. Whilst uh, we are getting the scripture and everything, I need you to share. Somebody will really thank you. If you have understanding, you will share. Or somebody, if you have understanding of who you are, this morning you don't need me to shout and say, uh, share, share, share before you share. You will definitely click and share and know that somebody needs to hear this. Uh, somebody needs to hear this for their life to be transformed. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, uh, may the Lord grant you that revelation uh, that any time you come on the line you don't need to be forced to share but you will have the Amen. understanding that it is our duty to do so that we will spread the gospel go ye into the world uh, and preach the gospel this is your way of preaching the gospel so you sharing Amen. is your way of preaching the gospel reaching out to lost souls somewhere may the lord grant Amen. you that grace to do it and do it diligently in Amen. jesus mighty name amen and amen we thank god for amen. every one of you i've seen some of you have just joined the line we thank god uh, we bless the lord lauren sister lauren peku god bless you uh, God bless you. We thank God for your life. Let us read. Let us read further. Shana, take it for me. Yes. Proverbs 4, verse 7. Mm -hmm. Wisdom is the principal thing. Wisdom is the principal thing. Mm -hmm. Therefore, get wisdom. Therefore, get wisdom. Today, I'm not talking on wisdom. I'm talking about understanding. It says wisdom is the, be uh, the beginning of wisdom. Is uh, quote your one. Let me use your one rather. Uh huh. And in all you're getting, in all get you're getting, my God, somebody get up, say in my all my getting, or somebody in say all in my all getting. my getting, in all my getting. I don't know what you have got. But if all you're getting, you have not got understanding. But then all that you have got is fruitful. Mm. Somebody get it up. He said, in all you're getting, get understanding. So if you have got it all and you don't have understanding, then whatever you have got, it is fruitful. Hear me, why am I saying so? As I already made a, a point clear to you that uh, without understanding, we make a mess. So there's somebody hear me. So if I have got everything as I need uh, and I have no understanding of that which I need, uh, it is just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time for me to make a mess of what I have. By the, by the time I realize, I will lose it all. Hear me. The reason why Job was able to retain all this blessing uh, is because he was a man with understanding. He had understanding how to retain some of today's children uh, children of God, we don't know how to retain things. Uh, you pray for them today, tomorrow, they come back with the same problem. Or you pray for them, you give an, uh, them advice today. Instead of them maintaining it, uh, oh no, it, it, it fizzles out of their hands. Uh, we don't know how to maintain blessing. Uh, we don't know how to maintain good things in our life. Uh, it all comes by what? Understanding. Uh, and this morning he said, in all our getting... In all your getting, in all my getting, what you have got, what I have got, I don't know what you have, or if all upon all your credentials, or upon the knowledge that you have acquired, the building that you have got, or the surface in your home, the children that you, everything that you have in this earth, Bible says that you must attach understanding to it, as simple as that scripture is saying. That whatsoever you have, you must under, what put understanding to it. Uh, this clothes that I have, I must understand my clothes. 
I must understand my clothes. Uh, you understand certain things that uh, or not every clothes must go into the washing machine. Other clothes are hand washed, so you do hand wash. Uh, immediately you don't have that understanding and you put it in the uh, 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 washing machine. Uh, you mess the clothes because of understanding. You lack of understanding. You mess things up. Somebody, have you got it? Uh, so we have come to a point that God says that everything that you have got, is everything that you have got, you must attach understanding to it. Do you understand why you have legs? Do you understand why you have mouth, eyes, and everything? That you understand why God has made you who you are. We have lost value of what we have. Or some of the things that are beneficial to us are today. There are some people that have so much endowed in technology. The phone that they are having, they can tell you about their phone. But when it comes to their own existence, they have no clue about themselves. They don't understand themselves. And because you don't understand themselves, you allow many people to direct you to where you don't have to be. Hear me, you are created in the way, the way you are created is because of what God has created you that way for a reason. Some of you, your character is there for a reason. There are certain things about me that it must not change from me. It doesn't matter how much you don't like it. It doesn't matter how it does not seem right to you, but God has created it in me to make me me. Hear me? I have that attribute so that it will be identified that this is Doreen. You have that attribute that that attribute would ad identify that this is you. But sometimes because we don't have understanding, we lose it. I will lose it. Some, I remember some time in my life when I was talking to the Lord. And I said to the Lord, Lord, uh, I want to understand certain things. I want to understand certain things. So I was, taking, I was telling the Lord, I want to be preaching different. I want to be preaching different. I want to be calm and preach gently and preach like that. This is my, what I was talking to the Lord. Father, I, I don't want to be going on and on. I just want to be uh, pre preaching calm. And he said to me, daughter, that is not you. It is simply not you. That is not who I made you to be. And if you do that, you will dry up. And so when the Lord said that, I, was be, I began to think that I cannot change who I am and suit, uh, to become uh, suitable to somebody because I have been created like that uh, for a specific people. And some people, that is the way they like it. And there are some people that they like a quiet preacher. You cannot change their mind. You cannot change what they are. So therefore, if I decide that, okay, I am going to change who I am today because I lack understanding of me and then go and preach like uh, somebody, I don't want to mention anybody's name. And then preach like that person. By the time I realize that nobody is even attracted to me because the original is there. So that me trying to be like that person, I don't fit in. But if I have understanding of who I have been created to be, I maintain my original. But today, most of you have lost your identity. You have lost the very thing that made you you. Oh, hear me. There are some people that they have been living as real as they are. They live their real life. It doesn't mean that if your real life stinks, you don't work you don't have to work on it. That's not what I'm saying. Uh, some of you, your realness is not something that should be real with you. You got to work at it. Uh, let us say that somebody said that gossip. You never said that is me. No, that is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about some good attributes in you uh, that because Sister Amma doesn't like it, uh, because uh, Josephine doesn't like it, so you change it. Uh, and then today you don't even know who you are anymore because you lack understanding. But Bible says in all our getting, we should what? Have understanding. So why the reason why you are going to school, you must know. The reason why you come on refreshing glory, you must know. The reason why you pray, you must know. You must have that understanding of the reason why you do what you do. Hear me? You must have that understanding. And if you have that understanding and the understanding is sound, sound understanding, nothing changes your mind. If I know that God is what I need, he is the author and finisher of my faith. He's the almighty God. If I know that, I am always connected. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what comes my way. I know that I need him. So therefore, I cannot pull away. Can you know, can, can, look at when we talk about need, we need God. Yeah, like somebody who is on a ventilator. And they cannot breathe on their own. And then they decided that, okay, probably a nurse in the hospital has annoyed them. And therefore, they should take out that ventilator because uh, the nurse is the one that came to put that ventilator on them. So they should take it away. By the time that angry child or whoever it is uh, has declared that and they, they obey that, but what would that person be? Some of you, your anger is because you have no understanding.
There are certain things that if you have understanding, you will not even be angry anymore. You will not be angry anymore to certain things. Huh? Because certain things are there to operate the way they operate. There are some times that we don't understand the spirituality. We don't understand why witches and wizards, they, that is their way of operating. Uh, as far as you said, the Bible says that as gathering, they will gather. They will gather. They are not going to stop. But are you going to also sit down because they will gather for them to get to you? No. With my understanding, it shows me that, okay, as for your gathering, you will gather. But I will not sit down for that which you plot to fight against me. I must also do something by the understanding of knowing that you cannot stop. Hear me? And But today we sit down and we do nothing. Although we, we know certain things, uh, we don't apply understanding to it, uh, and therefore we don't benefit. How much do we do warfare? Some warfares are unnecessary, if you have understanding. Some warfare is unnecessary. Look at somebody, probably you are looking for job. And then you do there, oh Lord, Bakaya, Bokoyaba, and the one that has stolen my job, my head to pay, papa, papa, fire. You've done all that. After that, you stay in your room. Understanding will tell you, move out of your room, and by that prayer, slant forth and look for a job. But if understanding does not tell you what, uh, you will fast for 40 days uh, and bind them for 40 days. Uh, oh, somebody, maybe 200 years, you'll be binding them uh, for a job. But because you don't have understanding, you will stay there and not go and look for that job. So understanding is something that we all need. And Bible is telling us today, somebody get that scripture. He said everything that we get, we must attach understanding to it. That is the meaning of that scripture. In all your gettings, have understanding. If you have a shoe, why do you have a shoe? Why that particular shoe? So that some of you, it will stop you from getting impulse buying. If some of the things that you buy is unnecessary, but because you lack understanding, you will buy it anyway. You have the same blue color, the same design, 12 of them. Why, sister? Brother, why? Because you lack understanding. You lack understanding. And for you, some of you too, uh, if you have understanding, you will buy the things you need. Uh, you will go and buy things that you know that I need this one. You will say that although you need it, you are accumulating money. A guy that died in the train, a guy that died in the train because this guy will not buy food, will not eat properly. All he wanted to do was to save money and then go and build something in his home. So when the guy died and they traced him to his home, my God, come and see, money under his pillow. But this guy died of anger, hunger, malnutri malnutrition. Why? Because lack understanding. And understand lack of understanding can kill you. Hear me to a person that I said uh, there is a saying that goes on. There I have sat down and I have looked at certain sayings, and now I don't say them anymore because it is it, it is not true. It does not make under it does no it does not make sense. What you don't know will not kill you. Sister, tell me. If it is true that what I don't know will not kill me, if I go and there is a poison there, whether labeled or unlabeled. And I drink it. And the poison will say, because you don't know. So uh, nothing will happen to you. Somebody judge this one for me. It is only God that knows that you don't know. And because by his mercy will intervene for you. Because you had no understanding. Or because you did not know. But let me tell you, humanity is not going to say that because you didn't know. Uh, ignorance is not an excuse. Hear me? So therefore, it tells me that when a bottle is there and I don't know what is in her, understanding will tell me because it's not labeled, maybe I should sniff it first, maybe I should test it first before I drink it. That is what understanding will teach me. Understanding will not tell me to go and drink it straight away, although I am thirsty. Although I wanted something to quench my test, I just don't jump and pick something that I don't know what it is and drink it. And some of you, that is how you are. The woman that you have, the man that you have, you just jump and pick the woman. You just jump and pick the man. So you have no understanding about that person. And that is why so, so fight. You fight from morning to evening because you people have no understanding of each other. You just you saw her vital stars. Maybe she was walking in the street and you look at her backside. And the backside was so attractive. Attractive and all that is all you know. The understanding you have was because you love the backside of that woman. Some of you, maybe the breast, or some of you, because the man has got six pack, 
Oh, because of his dental formula, he smiles and you like it. And that is all you know about that man. And you jump into relationship. You jump into a forever relationship with such a person. And you have no clue about them. No clue. And then you go there and then when the person is doing living their life, uh, it becomes wahala. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you did not check, you have no understanding. But Bible says everything that you want to get. Mm, and everything that I want to get, we must attach understanding to it. So somebody get it. Before today, from today, as you have heard this message, before you step out to the shop, uh, you must, whatever you are buying, you must know, have understanding, why am I buying what I'm buying? Oh, why do I have this person in my life? Oh, why do I go to this particular church? Why am I on refreshing glory? Why should I pray? Why should I read my Bible? Hear me. The reason must be known. And when you know the reason, it gives you understanding. I am going to give us a few points. Uh, what understanding will do. Hear me. Understanding brings knowledge. But knowledge does not bring understanding. If somebody say, hey, woman of God, what are you saying? Hear me. Knowledge alone does not bring understanding. You have many people that have gone to school, but they have no understanding. Hear me. There are people that have credentials, certificates, YPPS, but they are still jobless. There are people that have got so much beauty, but they have no what? Understanding. So I'm telling you, they know there are people that know how to use uh, other things to make themselves beautiful, but their brain is not beautiful. Their brain is such ugly, but they have beautified their body. They have bleached their body so much that uh, they, uh, they call them, uh, oh, that fair lady, but their mind is dark. Their mind is empty. Hear me? They had the knowledge that, okay, they, they, should, should, they should eat good food and all that, but they did not have the knowledge to acquire wisdom, to acquire knowledge. Get it? So, therefore, I want you to know that understanding will bring knowledge. Why knowledge does not bring understanding? But if you set your mind to understand, you get knowledge. Hear me? This phone is there. Let me make a, a, a scenario of uh, this phone, yeah? This phone in my hands, if you can see it or those online. This is a beautiful phone. It's a beautiful phone. Uh, two people having the, the same phone. And then they give it to them newly. One of them, or probably not given to them, the phone is there. And then people are looking at the phone. Two people from two perspectives. One will look at, wow, this is a beautiful phone. It is tall. It is big. It is beautiful. Another person will stand there and he will be thinking, how, how do I operate this phone? How does it operate? There are two different kinds of people. Hear this. There are two di different kinds of people. The first person understanding tells the person to come to the point of uh, 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 seeing the beauty, only sees the beauty. And another person go past the beauty to understand the function of the phone. If you don't understand the function of the phone, it does not matter how beautiful it is. You will mess it up. Is somebody getting it? If you don't understand the phone that you have, how beautiful it is. If you don't understand the way it is operated. Oh, sister, it's in your hands. By the time you realize you put it in water because you have no understanding. So two people looking at the same thing may have different mindset, different understanding. So I say to you that, but the one that said to say, how does this work? Hear this. So, so they began to search how this phone works. And by that side, because they want to understand the phone, the, way, the operation of the phone, the function of the phone, they gain knowledge. Although the other person knows that this is a phone, that is knowledge, but there is no understanding. So if this phone is passed on to these two people, one of them will utilize it well, and another will hold it as a merchandise, or a decorative device, or probably hang it by their door, because of their level of their understanding. So hear me, I said understanding brings knowledge, but knowledge alone does not bring understanding. Because if you set your heart to seek understanding, you also find knowledge. And may somebody find knowledge today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And that is why you and I must seek to understand the people in our life. If you understand the people in your life, you don't treat them anyhow.
and you understand the people that God has brought in your way, some of you, you know that they are unnecessary. They are not part of your package, so you don't pay attention to them. There are some people you are paying attention to them, but they are not part of your package. They are not part of your package, so you let them go. Like, like Abraham lets Lot go. Abraham loved Lot so much. And he said, okay, we are moving, so Lot, let us go. And he took brother Lot with him. But he realized that before, he realized that Abraham, Lot is not part of the package. So I must let Lot go. Somebody, because you don't lack, you do lack understanding. You entertain everybody in your life. You accept everybody in your life. But may the Lord help us that you will know the path that you are going. Every path is not your path, sister. And it takes understanding for you to understand that. That every path will not lead you to your destination. And therefore, you must take the path that has been designated to you so that you will get to your destination. Without that, my sister, we will walk around aimlessly and begin to play, play, play blame games. But because you will lack understanding. I want you to come to a point that understanding brings life. Somebody write it. Understanding brings life. As I use the bottle or the poison bottle for an illustration, if I have understanding, I will not go. Or if I have understanding, I will not use my bare hands with water in my hands when I touch a bare wire. It doesn't matter how much I can pray in tongues, sister. It's total foolishness. When I say because God loves me and I can pray in tongues, so I see a bare wire and my hands are wet and I go and hold on to it. Sister, what will happen to me? By the time you realize my hair will be up, standing up like that, electrified with my teeth black, everything black. Not me, oh, it's not me. Far from it. It's that woman, I'm talking about that woman. Here, because of lack of understanding, aside our spirituality, we must gain understanding. Somebody write it. Aside your spirituality, we must gain understanding. Sometimes we hide behind spirituality and we do, God forgive me, stupid things. That brings the, 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 that, uh, let, let me say, the reputation of God down. And some people wonder, ah, but she, she said she's a child of God. But she said she's a servant of God. There are certain things, uh, but because of the position you hold, they expect that you should have understanding. Uh, there are certain things that expectation is upon me as a servant of God. I cannot leave that uh, anyhow. Because people expect that I should understand. Because of my position. So are you, sister, brother, a mother should understand why they are a mother. That you know that you nurture your children. You don't sit down for your children to control you. You lack understanding. A father must know your stand in the family as the protector of the family and the provider. You don't stand there and send your children out rather to come and feed you when you are sitting down with your two hands in your legs. You lack understanding. Most of you, you have a position that you don't understand. You will, I will not, you will not, somebody wants quickly for people to call them. I remember somebody was telling me, oh, this is my daughter. This is, I said, mm -hmm. your daughter from where? And my spiritual daughter. I said, you barely can pray. You barely can pray. You are calling somebody your spiritual daughter. You think it is just a title. Therefore, uh, do you understand the role of a spiritual mother? Before you call somebody a spiritual daughter. As far as you begin to claim that that person, you see, you begin to have responsibility. You begin to stand in the gap for that person. You nurture that person. You instruct that person. You cannot just be telling people, my spiritual son, my spiritual daughter. Today, people are, have become, this is my mother. This is my spiritual father. They have no connection. No connection. They see them on telly, and then it's my spiritual mother. Sister, brother, it doesn't work like that. You lack understanding. How can you have a mother that you are, you are not connected to? How can you have a father that you are not connected to? So the same thing in the spiritual realm. You must therefore not profess certain things. 
Because we lack understanding, we assume certain roles easily. Easily. And sometimes we even allow ourselves for attacks. May the Lord have mercy upon us. I want you to know that understanding brings wealth. It was no coincidence that uh, Job was worthy because he had understanding. He had understanding how money operates, how he has to use money. And that is why he was able to retain. Not that he was just accumulating or just like that boy that foolishly died. But he knows how to trade with money and brought him wealth. When to release money and when not to release money. You want to be what? Father, I want to be prosperous, prosperous, prosperity. My sister, what understanding do you have of prosperity? What is your understanding of wealth? What is your understanding of money? Is it all about you just praying? Lord, have mercy upon all, our, all of us. Understanding will bring you happiness. Read that pro, uh, scripture for me, Proverbs 3. Proverbs understanding 3. will bring you happiness. Everyone who put that scriptures there, put the points that I'm giving you there. Understanding brings wealth. Understanding brings life. Understanding brings happiness. Proverbs 3, 13 to 15. Proverbs 3, 13 to 15. Mm -hmm. I'm, reading, I'm reading the New King James Version. Yes. Happy is the man who finds wisdom. Happy is the man who finds wisdom. Did you, did you hear that? Which there, in another, another version, it says, finds understanding. Happy is that man. Yes. If, I have, if you are living with a foolish person, hear me, and you have understanding that person is foolish, <laughs> Hear this, so you'll be a happy person because you know that you are living with a foolish person, and therefore you know how to behave in front of a foolish person. I thank God for this woman in the Bible. I love her so much that I take inspiration from her, Abigail. Abigail, Barbara, probably divinely or accidentally was married to a foolish man. And she knows that she was married to a foolish man. And she had understanding how foolish men operate. And so she acquired knowledge or wisdom to live with a foolish man. What do you have in your home? Do you know who kind, the kind of man or woman you have? But Abigail knew. This is a totally knows that her, 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 my husband is foolish. And therefore I cannot also operate foolishly. Two foolish people in the house cannot be. So therefore, she must set herself apart to get understanding. How do I live with a foolish person? And Bible says that the time came that this man went to do something against David. And David's anger arose against them. That was coming to destroy the whole family. But a servant went to Abigail and informed Abigail. Abigail did not sit down. Because he knew how foolish the husband can be. If you apply understanding in your marriage, sister, you will enjoy it. She did not sit down. Said, I, I know him. I know how he can talk. I know him. I've been with him for some years, so I know. So what did she do? She quickly, ran, she, she quickly prepared herself to go and meet David and speak wisdom. Because she has learned to live with a, a foolish person. That when you live with a foolish person, you don't talk foolishly. You only apply wisdom. And that makes Abigail more wiser. Somebody, the person you are living is more making you more even bad and bad every day. You lack understanding. Now it's time for you to strategize yourself. Okay, let me watch you carefully. What is the operation of this person? And begin to be wise by seeking God's knowledge. Abigail was married to a foolish man. But I didn't hear that she, she quarreled with him oh, because she had understanding. Already you are foolish. Why should, I, why should I bother myself? So her understanding made her dwell with what? Her husband, Nabat, in peace. Understanding brings peace. When you have understanding and you are living in the uh, Muslim community, you alone a Christian, you don't go and pray judgmental prayers against Muslim, you will die, sister. It doesn't matter how far you can pray, your tongues make a day, you will die. So we must apply understanding to the things we do and the environment in which we are in. 
May the Lord help us. Amen and amen. amen. I don't think I can finish on this understanding. We will continue as the Lord grant us a, 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 the grace because it's 7 o'clock now. We ought to pray. There are certain things that I want to highlight for us, but I believe that the Lord will permit me. The Lord will permit me that we go further. Yeah. Okay, let me add another one to it. Hear this scripture. Uh, Psalm 32, Psalm 32, verse 9. Psalm 32, verse 9. Psalm 32, verse 9. I'm just Psalm going to end on that. Mm -hmm. Verse 9. Psalm 32, verse 9. Yes. Do not be like the horse. Do I not like be moon. like the horse. Hey. Ha <laughs> ha. Do I not like be the like the horse. Uh huh. Go on for me. I like the I like the mule which have no understanding. Oh, did you hear that? Do not be like the horse or who? The mule. The mule who have no understanding. These two are animals. So, so a, a child of God. I'm not the one to say it, but you get understanding of the scripture. If you don't have understanding, you behave like what? Oh, I saw a mule. Okay, a horse or a mule, uh -huh. which is animal. It is understanding that differentiates between people and animal. Hear me. If you put an animal there and you put a human there, the understanding of the human will tell us that this is human and this is animal. There are certain behaviors of animal that a human being with understanding will not do. Because we have a different understanding. But it, uh, uh, what David is telling us today, do not behave. Do not be like who? The horse or the mule who have no understanding. In fact, let me tell you what David wants to tell you. He said, don't be like an animal. Get understanding. As simple as that. So if we are, we are there not acquiring and getting understanding... What, what are we behaving like? And sometimes that is why you can see human beings and they are behaving a certain way and your mind cannot get it. Because they lack understanding. And be, they, therefore they behave like human, uh, the animals. Can you hear, can, can you believe that probably you meet a person and you want to talk to the person, you say hello and the person say, whoo, whoo, whoo. What would you think? <laughs> I am saying hello, and your respond back to me as a human is woo, woo, woo. Is woo a language of a human? No. Your understanding will tell you that I am not a dog. And therefore, I am a human, so you will respond to me in the plain language. But some of you, or some, or some of you, or some of us, your response. It's like a woo, 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 an animal. When somebody is talking to you, woo, 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 barking like a dog. Lord have mercy. I'm not the one saying, but I'm interpreting scripture for you. But understanding will tell you that. Be patient. Understanding will tell you that. Bible says that a good words we must use. But what do we do? What do we trade in? Different things. And I want you to know that understanding is attitude. It's an attitude. It is an attitude. Though. It is not just a spirit that comes upon you. He said in all you're getting. Get understanding. Get it. So it is your effort it's your duty, my duty to get it. Amen. He did not say, in all your gettings, I will give you understanding. Get it. And that is the next phase. If the Lord give us the grace, we will go into it. How do I get it? Where do I get it from? If I am to get it, and it's so important, then we must know how to get it. Where to get it. How to maintain it. We must know. Because it is demanded and is needed in our day-to-day -day affairs or life or duties that you and I will gain understanding. I believe that today, 
And for that matter, there came a point that Jesus met some two disciples on the way talking. After Jesus had died and rose up and they were talking, discussing the death and resurrection of Jesus. And Jesus got there and asked them. And he said, so haven't you heard? They were talking about something they don't understand. Haven't you heard? Have you not met people like that? They talk and they don't understand. And they were saying, haven't you heard? And Jesus said, what? They began to explain to Jesus that there was a man that they talked that the man was a savior. But the man, he wasn't the savior. They were so much. And Jesus says, how foolish are you? Slow in understanding. Hey. So for us to be slow in understanding is a sign of foolishness. My God. Lord, help me. Somebody, can you get it? Jesus himself told them that they've been foolish because they are slow in understanding. Have I not taught you these things? I lived with you. I taught you. I instructed you. For how many months or for how many years? Three years of my ministry, I instructed you. But none of them could get it. Oh, then the Lord said then, let, he gave them communion to open up their mind. So that their mind will be open because their mind was closed. Today, I don't know how, how far your mind is closed. But we are going to be go before the Lord. I am going to do my own. You go to do your own. I don't want Jesus to return and call me foolish. Because I am slow in understanding. The word of God has come to us. Do you understand what God demands of us today? The four principles of Job's life has been given to us. That you and I may live to become successful. Somebody has heard. Somebody have understood. Somebody has no clue. You have not heard it. You came for likes. You came to see the woman of God. You came to so that we will mention your name to that you have also been here. So you don't know that it's a duty. And there is a demand and expectation upon you. May the Lord have mercy upon us all. In Jesus' amen. name. Amen and amen. amen. Understanding is an attitude. And somebody, you must have that understanding. You must behave right. You must behave by understanding. Purposely behave by understanding. Some un uh, behavior is unexpected and some uh, behavior is not acceptable as a child of God. It's not acceptable. I use it again. Not acceptable as a servant of God. It's not acceptable. Child of God is not acceptable. Gain understanding because understanding is an attitude. May the Lord help us. Now can we lift Amen. our voice right now and we are lifting our voice. Thank God for the word that has come to us all. Thank God for the word. Thank God for the word. Thank God for the word. Amen. Say Father we thank you Amen. for speaking to us today. Father, we thank you Lord. We thank you Lord. We thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Father we thank you Lord. We thank you Lord my God. Lebron Takadu Zibidi Antopende Lebron Tori Andagaba Didi Boko Tonda Rabraba Ende de Braco Tony Azapa Lebro Katuri Amade Lebrapoa Ende de Matoro Bo Zibidi Ampo Tonda Rabraba Ende de Mapo Tora Made Lebrapo Capoa Made Lebrapoa Ende de Matoro Bo Zibidi Ampo Made Lebrapa Ende de Mato Zibidi Ampo Made Lebratoa Ezili Mako Tona La Mapo Tonda Rabraba Tale Mapo in the Lebra Po Catoria Maduro Possibiapa, in the Lema Potona Rabate de Bracuto Zibidiaba, in the Lema Potona Zabade, in Mapoa Mada, in the Lebro Catonia Zabade, Macapoa Mada, in the Lebra Po Catonia Mazolo Procapa, in the Lebro Catu Zibidi, Mahampo Yabrada, in the Lema Atu Zibi, Yabranto Sabada, in the Lema to Zabayamran, Tocobo Zambadia, thank God, thank God for the word. In the Ramasuata Yamadea, Father, I thank you for your word, O God. I thank you for your word on understanding, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Nanda Zubidi Bidia, in the Lema Potonia Zabalebraba, in the Lema Potona Rabraba, Kaduria Maboa, in the Lema Potoro Boda Braba, in the Rabaka Boa Madoro Boca Boa, in the Rema Capoa Madere Braba, in the Rema Potonia Zabalebraba, Dere Baboa, in 
Indere mapoton ya matoro boa madere braba. Indere mapoton na rabra ba kaboa. Indere makoto zibiri yanta raba kaboa mana. Indere makoton ya zabandere braba. In Jesus mighty name. Amen and amen. Amen. We are going to pray this prayer. There are more prayers to pray, but tomorrow, by the special grace of God, we will go further. Uh, we are having a servant of God with us. Uh, we are having uh, somebody come to uh, with us this uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, so refreshing glory is going to be powerful. Somebody don't miss it. Uh, I have Bishop Leo coming with us uh, and coming to teach and lead us uh, on dimensional prayers. Somebody you don't want to miss it. Uh, you don't want to miss tomorrow morning. I'm inviting okay. every one of you uh, tomorrow morning. Let us show up. Uh, but before then, let us pray this prayer. Luke 24, 45. Luke 24 45. He said, Then he opened their minds so they could understand scriptures. We are simply going to pray that God should open our mind to understand. You are going to say, Father, open my mind today. We pray just as he prayed for the he gave the, the disciples communion to open up their mind. So we are praying this morning that the Lord should open our mind. Wherever we lack understanding, wherever our mind is blocked, may the Lord open our, our mind, open up our mind. In the name of Jesus, can we lift our voice right now? Two minutes you pray this prayer. Pray it, it is vital. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And Mado zebere babawa ende kaban tu zebele mapaya mapawa asubidi bi kata mapo zabanda rabraba endele mapawa madi ikutuzama mada ya badoa father open our mind to understand open our mind to understand oh lord father i pray this morning oh god my mind to understand oh lord things that i do not understand father pertaining to my life oh lord my god my ministry oh lord my god my marriage oh lord father lord my god open my mind. Father, open my mind to understand, oh Lord, my God. My position, oh Lord, my God. Mantunye sokoto madibili kapoa. Andoro bo sebedi matola branda. Endele bo katuria mapoa madea. Endara badele mapoa madere brapoa. Endele mapoto romo zibili yapoa. Endele mapoto niya zabade ya madea. Endele mapo subikiti bada mataya bado zabada badea. Endele makunto zabanda libro Topalabada, Azumidi Bikutunda, Yabranto Zabade la Mapoa, Endele Mapo, Zibikiti Branto Zabanda, Antayamade, Mapoa Madea Brada, Antoria Mama Kutubize, Abele Maba, Ayendo Zaba, Daba Nara Madea, Antoria Tadaba Dubidi Bidi Bokonto Zibele Mapoa, Father, open our mind to understand, or somebody pray to God, He say, Almighty God, open my mind to understand, open my mind, my mind, my mind, oh Lord. Wind in my understanding, O Lord. Open my mind to understand, O God. In the name of Jesus, Kando Robo Shende de Baboa. Endele Mapoa Madori and Didi Zubidi Yapa. Endo Robo Kajona Ramakutuna Yabranta Bare Baboa. Esumiri Yamponto Yabada. Ando Robo Zebada Braba Katunde Yamado Zabada Braba. The Lord open your mind this morning. The Lord open our mind to understand. May the Lord open our mind to understand. O Lord, my God, open our mind. Mind. Open our mind, open our mind, open our mind. Andora Mazibidi Kutuzaya, Mazembele Makotondaya. Father, open my mind, oh Lord, my God. And the Rabba into well for God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the Rabba Kozumiri Bayabaha. In the Rabba Boka Boa, Madara Baka Boa. In the name of Jesus. Somebody thank God right now. Say, Lord, thank you for opening my mind. Thank you for gracing me. Somebody lift your voice and say, Thank you, Lord. Thank, thank you, Lord, you, Jesus, for opening my mind. Thank you, Father, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for opening our mind. Father, thank you for opening our mind. Father, thank you for opening my mind as your servant, O God. Thank you, my Lord, for opening our mind. We thank you, Lord. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 We thank God. We bless the Lord. May the Lord, uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, instructions given to us, uh, may it be understood by us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. 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 Understanding will let you show up tonight, uh, tonight at 8 p.m. We are all here talking on relationship. Uh, every one of us, we relate. Every human being relates. We relate to people. Whether you know it or you don't like it, you relate. Uh, but it is one thing for you to understand them. There are sometimes we 
we want to get married, but we have no understanding the person that we want to get married to. And today we are going to talk on the needs of men. Oh, and the needs of men. What do men need? There are some the needs of men that are fundamental. And somebody you may want to know. Oh, you may want to know the needs of man before you enter into marriage. Or probably you are already in there, but you want to uh, boost your IQ. You want to understand certain things the way they do the things that they do. Somebody, it is vital for you to come and acquire knowledge. Or somebody, it's vital for you to come and have understanding. And because understanding will give you knowledge. And when you have knowledge, you can operate on that knowledge and success will be guaranteed unto you. Oh, so you don't live in the marriage fighting when you don't have understanding why the man do what they do. But tonight, show up and this evening is going to be awesome. We are all gathering 8 p.m. on and Facebook. We are doing it on our come at the studio. So somebody, you will connect and we will do it together to the glory of God. You will understand why man does what they do. Who is a man? We are going to find out. By the servant of God that is coming this evening, somebody, we thank God. He's a servant of God. He's a lecturer and he's an author. We thank God that God has graced him so much. And then you and I, come let us acquire knowledge. Let us do it together so that we will work with understanding that when you enter or you are in there and you are doing, you know what you are doing. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord empower you. And some of the men mm. to come and know. Come and know yourself. And by this you get to know yourself. You don't understand yourself as a man. But come and you will understand. We thank God for every one of you. The Lord Almighty bless you. The Lord Almighty grace you in the name of mm. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, you, you just join us. You say, I'm late today, oh mommy. Yes, today you have been late. Why? Uh, but what I need you to do is uh, go for uh, go and then listen to the whole message. Go and listen to the whole message and it will be a blessing unto you in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody, I want you to click and share. This is a message that thousands must hear. This is a message that it must go for somebody to understand, especially the body of Christ, the people of God, uh, the principle of Job's life. Uh, the Lord has given us this grace and this dimension uh, that expectation is upon us that we will live a blameless life, an upright life. Uh, a woman, a man that shuns evil. Uh, today, that which you have heard, uh, it says that whatever we have heard, uh, uh, at the day of reckoning, the Lord will ask us. Uh, and so something, don't sit, don't, somebody don't sit down. Begin to work on yourself by that which you have heard. Uh, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord empower you. May the Lord sustain you. Uh, make a date with me tonight. We are coming. Uh, and it's going to be awesome. And tomorrow morning, I said that. Uh, we are having a servant of God all the way from America, Maryland, and he's joining us. Bishop Leo will be here and somebody you don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it with what God has for us. It's going to be fun. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be powerful, educational. It's going to be something that you will gain. Tomorrow morning, get yourself ready in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I will send the flyer around and every one of you send it around. Invite many people on the line tomorrow morning and in the evening as well. We are gathering together eight p.m. to 10. We are doing it together to the glory of God. It is time to learn. It is time to gain understanding. God bless you. God bless me. God bless us all together in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. I know that every one of you are there. I, I know I have seen some of you uh, today. If I'm not able to mention all of you, your name. In fact, let me mention that. Adjua Doma, God bless you. Mama Nestina, God bless you. Eyi, God bless you. Uh, Don, God bless you. Alex Oseye, God bless you. Uh, Elizabeth Amuakwa, God bless you. Shana Love, God bless you. Sandra, do say God bless you. We thank God for your life. Uh, every one of you that is the God we know, Dara. God bless you. Uh, I have mentioned your name already. God bless you. We thank God for every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Somebody you may want to sow into this ministry. You want to bless the servant of God. You want us to carry the gospel. Uh, you want us to go further than where we are. Your understanding will tell you that you should support uh, and let us do it not just only by prayer but with substance with deeds. Uh, we need money to do what we do. So somebody you may want to release a seed, you may want to release an offering. The Lord bless you for uh, facilitating the work of God. May the Lord grace you and bless the work of your hands. Uh, the paper details has been pinned down there. And so somebody please, please sow something in there. Put something in there so that we can do the necessary things that we ought to do. And the Lord bless you. When we bring servants of God we need to honor them. And somebody we need money to do that. So put something in there. Let us do all that we do. Oh, let us do all that we 
to do. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord empower you. May the Lord sustain you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen. and amen. We bless the Lord. Angela, God bless you. Vania, God bless you. Thank God for every one of you. Your support is amazing. Uh, Grace, God bless you. Uh, Lee Sakama, God bless you. How are you doing, Lee? I bless the Lord for your life. Every one of you that has joined us, uh, if you have not put your name there, please put your name there. Uh, Winifred Amwaku, the birthday woman, God bless you. We thank God for your life. Uh, in Jesus' mighty name, Obaya is here. God bless you. Uh, say, can I... Can I know send? Uh, oh, I didn't. Grace, I, I didn't get what you what you said. If you can explain it a bit for me, I don't understand. I, can I know send Zilla? Zilla? Oh, I don't know. I don't know her. <laughs> Ay, my God. We bless the Lord for every one of you. Uh -huh. I know probably it is a, 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 a way you want to contribute, uh, but I don't know how that one works. What we have is a, we have is paypal or the bank details if you want we can send you the bank details uh, and then you can show what you have in there god bless you i love you all with the love of the living god if i have not mentioned your name is because i have not seen your comment and therefore some of the comments are gone rebecca Owusu, god bless you the lord favor you the lord bless you in jesus name who else is there that i have not mentioned your name uh, reverend doreen is here my name has not been mentioned god bless me too amen and amen uh, oh, and uh, 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 God bless you. Uh, God bless you. May the Lord bless you and uh, empower you in Jesus' name. Angela, say, enjoyed, enjoyed, uh -huh. enjoy your weekend to all. Uh, to every one of us, Angela says, enjoy your weekend. We will. You too, the same. God bless you. God bless you. Joy, say, God bless you, mommy, and increase you more, more oil. Amen and amen. Let my kisses flow now. Shana, say, God bless you, Reverend Doreen. God bless you too, Shana, for your support. God bless you. Glory, glory, Amala. God bless you. You say, praise the Lord, prophetess. Uh, praise the Lord to you too, my darling. The Lord bless you. Glory. We thank God for your life in Jesus' name. You say, prophesy, prophesy. We thank God. We bless the Lord for your life in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah to every one of you that has joined us. Uh, the Lord bless you. The Lord empower you. The Lord sustain you. Uh -huh. uh, uh, glory say we should prophesy. I prophesy the grace of God upon you. The peace of God be your portion in the name of Jesus. I declare over your life glory that the Lord's blessings overtake your life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Glory be to God. We thank God and we bless the Lord. I love you all with the love of the living God, but know that the Almighty God loves you better and somebody stay connected. I need you to continue to share this broadcast and let a brother, a sister have it. I share it to as many platforms that you need. He said, I need a government job. You need a government job. May the Lord release it to you. Glory in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That touch as God has for you. May the Lord release you into it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The best one for you. May it come to your way. Locate you in Jesus' name. Mama Ernestina Amwa, God bless you. Thank God for your life. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. We bless the Lord. We thank the Lord. We thank the Lord. Thank you, 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 Lord. Who else is there? Who else is there? Let me release this song. Somebody enjoy this song whilst I get myself ready to exit. We thank God. We bless the Lord. Don't forget about tonight. Uh, tonight, 8 p.m., we are coming back on Bed of Roses. Uh, talking on the needs of man. The needs of man. What is the need of man? We ought to know. We ought to know. The Lord bless us all. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Maduri Ikidizi Madu Zabada. Enjoy the song. Dr. Samuel Dakwa. Hey, if you know uh, God bless you. God bless you. I would one day take you to a CNN or you. Uh -huh. Shana, God bless you. God bless you. Amen. All things were made through him. Yes. And without him, Nothing was made. That was that made. Was made. Mm. Somebody so so, and then also subscribe to the new YouTube channel. Somebody subscribe Global Word Network. Somebody what subscribe. Can you do, mm -hmm. Jesus. Thank you, thank you, every one of you. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. 
I will, t- I will send the bank details in your inbox. Yeah. Or you can use the PayPal account pin there if you can see it. Or I'll send you. If Joy is on the line, please uh, give uh, Grace uh, the paper, uh, the bank details, Joy, if you are there. Yama, give who, who, who? May the Lord favor you and ye may the Lord bless you and light your cause. May the peace of the Lord fall upon you. your dance coming from. A very good, good, 
goodbye to you and then coming your way again this evening somebody get yourself ready it is a bye bye for now god bless you i love you don't forget to give a helping hand to this ministry god bless you favor you are and then also subscribe to our new youtube channel which is global word network global word network hey sister paduran are you not coming are you not coming and you are ultra dancers so the lord bless you the lord favor you somebody please uh, when you type in global word network you will see the very beautiful globe the very colorful one with the microphone in front of it uh, that is ours uh, subscribe 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 god bless you i love you with the love of the living god uh, it is a uh, bye-bye for now bye-bye bye 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 thank you thank you lord thank you spirit of the living god mm.